Jim today in his 1959 Saab 93B, right? Yep. These cars were sold originally with a 750cc three-cylinder two-stroke. Okay. Um, and then 1960, they came out with 850cc three-cylinder two-stroke. And when these engines blew up, which they did a lot, um, they were just replaced with an 850. So, and one difference is, you could tell the difference, there's eight head bolts on this, and there's 12 on an 850. So okay. there's, I just like to keep things kind of original. So you've had this car for a couple of years, right? Yep, since uh, 2014, but we just got it running in the beginning of June, actually. Yeah, for 38 horsepower. 38 horsepower, and, and, uh, and I bet it rips. <laughs> and a um, you know, eight, a little over 1,800 pound car. Right. You only, only get so much. Yeah, I mean, it's lighter than my Miata, so it's got that. So what made you want to get this car? Because it's such a rare um, car, it's such a unique car, you know? This what is made you... the second 5993 we've had. We had a black 59 that we sold to one of uh, our good friends, and we didn't need two of them. We have, um, we have six or seven vintage Saabs all together, but we didn't need two 5993s. Right. So we had a nice black one. We bought this one to resell it. Now we said we had the other one for 10 years. Let's sell that one and keep this. So. So what color is this? Is there a specific name for it? It's kind of like a dove gray. You just got thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> but the three, this, these are all three speeds. The 60 GT 750s. Okay. They were four speeds. But when you have a three speed, you almost wish you had a four. Right. But then when you have a four four speed, you almost wish you had a three speed. So what's it like shifting from the column versus down between your uh, to your right? Is it is it hard to learn how to? Um, no, you get kind of used to it. it. Shifts so easy. Right. You can see when I shift it. I mean, it's just like butter. So do you have to do a lot to this to get it running again, or? No, it was like I said, it was restored in the '90s, and okay. a guy imported it in 2000, and it just pretty much sat until we bought it. So I drained the gas tank and I was gonna redo the gas tank when I looked inside it, it was like brand new. Right. So I literally, all I did was I did new wheel cylinders in the front and the rear, took the engine apart. I was gonna rebuild it if I had to, but everything's good, so I put it back together, mm -hmm. put a new clutch in it, and it runs and drives. That's great. So where do you buy parts for a car like this? Um, A car like this, I have quite a few friends in the vintage Saab club. I have a good friend in Sweden, they make a lot of reproduction parts in Sweden, but some things are very hard to get for this. It's yeah. nice and it's good and bad for some things. It's not like an MG or a Volkswagen or an Austin Hill where you could open up a book and get stuff. Right. It's a pain sometimes. But one neat thing that really sets, a 93 is a small back window and the suicide door people really like. Yeah, I, I say, love the I'll suicide doors. i say it again, doors. yeah, it was last year, 59 for suicide door. So now we're under the hood of the 93B, and do you just want to go over again, like just some basics about the engine? And yeah, this is a. Uh, these came with a 750 cc, three cylinder, two stroke. Uh, you put the oil in the gas tank. On some of the newer models, are oil injected. Hmm. Um, 38 horsepower, and like I was mentioning earlier, this this to tell the difference between a 750 and 850. Eight head bolts for a 750, and if it's an 850, there's 12 head bolts. Okay. They went to the 12 head bolts because there's too much area for leakage, which you can even see there's maybe hair here. The overhead fan shaft, here's the blades. This car is from Sweden, there's only four blades. It sh all the US cars were six, but I just huh. wanted to keep it original. I probably yeah. should get a six on there. This here is a duct work that goes from the exhaust manifold here to the intake on the air cleaner. So in the winter time, you could clip this right on here. You have warm air in oh, the winter time. And one nice thing, most Saabs in the U.S. were sold new in the Northeast because there's no crankcase or the two-stroke. This right. would crank over just as good if it was 90 degrees or 20 below zero. Um, yeah, if you want to come over here, this is a 12-volt car um, generator. Here's the distributor, and the water pump is right here silver piece yep driven off of the generator very small propeller it don't work that good yeah, but said it doesn't work very good and the radiator yeah. is back here so it gets hot pretty quick when the yep. weather is a little bit warm the heater course here and these engines going uphill you can watch the temperature gauge go up 
yeah. then going downhill and freewheel <laughs> you can watch the gauge go down so this car is pretty much all original right pretty much original like with one repaint um it was in an accident okay um a long time ago there's been some welding on the inside but it's never been rusted it was in an area of sweden they only use like sand and gravel that, on that was going to be my next question so was it wasn't rust. rusted at all um this in it is a accessory exhaust tip from huh. Saab. they put them on there to keep like in the old days the oil is 30 or 40 weight and the oil would splatter much more it was for looks and to keep a lot of the oil off of the bright work okay original floors oh no wow. rust so that's really that's incredible for a car that's what it's over 60 years old now yep yeah yeah and, and the weird fishing. thing that i also noticed is the pedals are almost in the middle down here right yep they're in a very weird position and so. also to let you know 58 was the first year for this up till 57 all it had was a little roller here for the accelerator but 58 they done this 59 was the first year for a glove box door um 57 was the last year for a split windshield but there's and also 59 they enlarged the radiator okay. i also have that tack i know about three of them in the u.s it's a very rare tack so is this original interior too yeah i'm gonna have the seat i'm gonna get the fabric from sweden have it done but once as we know for the age can't complain too much right I i'm mean, gonna redo the fronts get the foam a little thicker i'm going to show you one cool thing a very, that a lot of people might not sure know that had. back in the late 50s early 60s they sold this traveling for generator bracket in case you broke down somewhere you had a lot of so stuff they give you a bunch of spare parts for pretty much hey you're gonna buy cool. a sub here you go yeah. but yeah just in case yeah there's a head gasket intake gasket distributor oh, cap wow. diaphragm for the fuel pump points bulbs and just like other sobs you could fold the seat down and haul stuff in there and they still also a practical made a, car yeah they made a bed kit for these where you could put the front seats store everything out put plywood and you could actually sleep in there <laughs> I really like these wheels too. Like you have like the gray, I guess you, I guess you could call this a gray, and then the uh, the red wheels and the red almost like a pinstripe yeah, kind of. Yeah, we it's, have a couple other gray cars. It's almost um. It's a really like nice color a, scheme. Yeah, on this car, this is also pretty rare. The roof rack. Yeah, that's also from Sweden. That was a '96, '93 accessory. Wow, it's amazing. Thank you so much for. Uh, for letting me uh let me feature it i guess no problem no i appreciate beautiful it beautiful car pull lever to pull, pull lever, lever started okay. yeah i got it and we're in neutral right now yeah you're in neutral we're in neutral okay so just pushing the clutch oh boy now you're in first gear now just give it a little gas and just go slow let the clutch out slow and just turn around right there slowly 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 I'm to find the bite point okay let you let it out right now good yep let it out you got it all right first gear me is turn around here don't stop and once you're rolling it'll be much easier for you to all right. shift no way the pedals being to the right yeah Isn't i know it? it's honestly it's not as weird as i thought though like i kind of thought i'd be like sitting almost like this yeah. you know <laughs> but i'm i'm still sitting pretty much completely no, I'm straight. telling you right now i don't let many people drive or stuff but you're a sob and, <laughs> and i trust you and you can't really like hurt it too much got it okay so i can release it pretty yep. early then yep so now just see if second I can gear do this by myself yep. here perfect oh wow those are perfect. yeah those are some uh some big gates <laughs> it is sure. big but smooth right it's, it's not smooth. like it just a, popped back in yep. and then i kind of guided it if you it want you can just like go into one. neutral here now just shift it Take it out a little more, then it's straight down in the third. So yeah, it's weird. It's only a three-speed. I I drove the four-speed in the Sonnet, like I said, but I haven't driven a a, a three-speed. Shifts a, so easily, right? It's, it's it's smoother than my Turbo X. <laughs> That's bad. You know the the other thing that I'd really like to kind of compliment this car on is how well it rides. You know, because the motor it's it's a little bit shaky from mm -hmm. the motor, but once you get up to a certain RPM range, yeah, it's it's smooth. Here we go. Let's go around here. All right. Punch it. Oh, 38 horsepower. Drop, I feel it. it. Now hit it in the third slowly. We got this Cadillac coming in front of us. They got ice blocks on their Cadillac. <laughs> You're getting good at this. I, I can do now this. Now down in the first. So towards, towards me and yep, down. Okay. You got it. Yeah, you're doing good. 
no power steering, but with the big wheel, it's pretty damn easy. Oh, yeah, it's not Because you bad. know how cars with no power like, steering are. Yeah. They have a belt Your off or something. Or something. Some pegs that you can see if you drove this for 20 minutes, you'd be pretty used. You're doing very good shifting. Well, this is... This have is, you ever shifted on the cow? I have never shifted So you're doing very before. good. It's Look how good you're doing for doing it for five minutes. It's much easier to drive than the Sonnet. Okay. I gotta say that. It's a million times And you can almost easier. shift it with your two fingers. You can almost feel right. it going to gear. It's extremely light and you can feel, yeah, like you yep. said, you can feel it go into gear and you know. You Left know. at the hell the end here. You could just go into second. That's the one I see with the three speeds. You, you don't, don't have, have to do to, much shifting. No, and there's no. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Over and up. Yep. yep. Okay. There's no synchron first. So you almost got, I mean, yeah, there's no synchron first. So you almost got to be stopped to put in first gear. Uh -huh. You can go a little faster, take it around this corner. I hope not. Oh, yeah. Auto autopsy. Drove, <laughs> driving someone's 93 and hit. Crashed into over, a new generation 9.5. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you take it right back where it was. This no, thank amazing. you for doing some uh, the Th riding. Thank you so much you for driving. You never thought you'd be able to, you were going to drive a suicide I did door not, car here. When I woke up this morning, I I did not think I'd be doing this. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> we're right here next to the Sonnet, right? Yep. All right. I got it neutral for you, so you're good. Perfect. Awesome. You're doing good. Thank you so much. No problem. This is amazing.